Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how scam contracts, honeypot contracts and tokens with hidden functions are built and I'm gonna show you how to read them and detect them to avoid getting scammed. Now here I have two contracts. This one has a hidden function, uh, a hidden mint function and this one has multiple functions that can be hi hidden uh, including uh, blacklisting and also can be potential uh, honeypot so the it is a legitimate token but the owner can turn this to a honeypot anytime and i'm going to show you how it happens so let's start with the hidden function first as you can see the uh, the token looks fine it is a simple token doesn't have any fees or anything but if we search here we have a renounce renounce ownership and this is uh, fine as well the owner can renounce ownership and this will give a uh, security to the investors right the investors will trust more once they see that the owner has renounced ownership and the debt address is owner so the the dev cannot do any changes right cannot scam or uh, steal uh, the investors money but that is not true because as we see here we have a function called burn as you can see here we have here burn from and we have the amount we want to burn and this is uh, in fact this is a mint function so the owner can use this uh, to mint any amount of tokens to his address but uh, we renounced ownership right so he cannot do that in fact he can because this function as you see here it is public so any uh, any uh, anyone can call this function and so the owner can go and call this function even after the smart contract is renounced after the ownership is renounced so no one will uh, will believe that owner can call any function and it is also named burn and you can name this anything you want you can name this as you can see here it will still be deployed uh, compiled and we can deploy this and uh, still mint any amount set a name uh, we'll set my address here dev address this will be used uh, this will be where the tokens will be transferred when we mint We will deploy and see just to see how the function is named. okay so we see here we can check the functions here as you can see uh, we have uh, 
tag addict function here and let's see we renounce ownership and we will still be able to mint tokens as you can see here we have a uh, total supply of a hundred million I think yes and uh, 100 billion actually and we're gonna mint some more did we we renounce ownership or no ownership renounced Okay, ownership is renounced. And now we can still mint tokens by just calling this function. Let's see the transactions. 100 billion was transferred to me and let's see how much I have as you can see here I have this amount now of tokens in my wallet so this is the hidden function one there is some more but I'm not showing all of them today now let's get to the other one which can be a potential uh, honeypot and we'll show some examples of hiding the functions there as well. Uh, so here, the first thing that can make this token a honeypot is the fee. I hear people around saying honeypot, honeypot, but honeypot is not really a thing. Uh, it's a fee thing. So. Uh, the fees can make token honeypot or the max transaction can make a token honeypot that's what honeypot is so we have here uh, this says the max liquidity fee for this contract is allowed to 10% one more time this is not the contract fee that will be to just right in the beginning but this uh, this means the owner can change the fees to maximum of 10 percent for the liquidity okay so this uh, if the owner if we set this 20 percent then the fee still will be one percent or whatever we set it but it means we will be able to increase it to 20 percent anytime and we set this 20% as well, or if we leave them like this, we say 20% plus 10, 30, 40, 50, 60. And if we ever increase the fee to this, no one will be able to sell as uh, PancakeSwap or Uniswap has a maximum fee of 50% or 49%. And here we have uh, minimum transaction uh, is 10, 1% so we cannot set this lower than uh, this but if we do this uh, we cannot set it higher like than this but if we do this 50% then we will be able to change uh, to 50% so anyone in order to get to sell their tokens must have uh, enough tokens to uh, uh, to uh, sell 50% of the total supply. And then we have the blacklist function. Whatever token you're buying, make sure to go and check the source code for these things 
and the next thing we have is the blacklisting here so we have this function blacklist address and this would be a red flag for any token because uh, they can blacklist any investor and they would not be able to sell so this is uh, a big red flag but we can rename this to um, uh, let's say reward we make sure to change uh, all the all the blacklist words to reward right all the occurrences we go and select the compiler we did a misspelling here so now this function is called a reward address <laughs> and investor would love to see this they will probably think you are rewarding them something so anytime you use this function reward address you will be actually blacklisting an address so if you're investing to any token make sure you go to the smart uh, uh, contract code like if you see blacklist let's say this is named a uh, reward address you go to the code uh, and make sure you search for the reward address and see what it actually does So you go to the function and you can see clearly what happens. And uh, this any uh, functions can be renamed and uh, this as well uh, can be uh, there are some contracts who have this function as public. And uh, after the after the smart contract is renounced, they will be still able to <coughs> blacklist you. But it will be a blacklist war if someone uh, detected and knows that this is public, because anyone can blacklist anyone. So and actually there are some project doing this. I've seen some that uh, there's also other people made videos on YouTube that uh, some uh, scammers are doing this method. So always make sure you don't be fooled by the names of the functions. Go and check the source code and see what the function really does. So this is it guys, thank you for watching, please subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know down in the comments what should I do next. Thank you and see you next time.